red flag, so that means it's at the front, but this is a difficult green to hit at the best of times because it's a kidney shape. So I've got 123 to the front, 136 to the middle. I've got a nine iron. right at it but it's not enough club just short okay so as we knew off the tee box we're a little short here um, probably a club short because of the wind more than anything but because it was a red flag I thought I'd play the front number didn't really pull it off never mind let's see if we can visit Dr. Chipinski's surgery, early doors. Not bad, just past pin eye. You'll probably see that off the B cam. There we go, nice par to start. Never complain about those. Uh, second hole here is called Afton. It is a par four, 383 yards, stroke index five. Plain and simple, try and put it down the middle. I've uh, got a new driver in the bag as well. Got the Ping G430 10K Max, or however you actually want to say it, but it's there or thereabouts, and uh, let's see if this uh, is going to provide us the shot we want on this hole. Uh, we're going to air sli slightly down the left hand side. has gone down the left hand side where I said Just first cut though so it didn't roll out very far uh, should be right though should give us a nice shot into the green right okay so not the greatest of drives if we're being honest because we've still got 193 to the middle which is where that flag is it's uphill and we probably need all of that club so Having not had a great drive because we got caught up in this rough, obviously. Um, seven wood. Just try and recover. Right, and just as a bit of information more than anything else, because if you didn't realise, I started out as a 25 handicapper and I'm down to 8.6 now, so 25.3 to 8.6 in about three years. And there's a lot I've learnt in that time. And I'll tell you something, one of the things here is don't miss it right. If you miss it left, at least you'll come off the bank and down towards the green. So that's what we're gonna be attempting here. ball below my feet so it should go right anyway so we're going to aim a bit further left a bit too far left because that won't come down from up there but it should be pin eye right so as you can see they're actually just past pin high um, so we had the right club just elected to hit it a bit too far left we needed it about another 20 yards that way for it to have maybe trickled on down towards the green instead we caught it up in this longer stuff here and now we've got obviously a tricky chip back down to the green uh, this is obviously going to be a delicate one because you've either got to try and fly it onto the green itself or bump it down on top of the bank there um, it's one of them that will realistically do what it fancies itself um, let's just try and get it as close as we can from here really 
it's sitting up as well so it will probably pop indeed it did and luckily we took the route we did but I don't think it's going to have emerged on the green because it's going to have got caught up in that stuff down the bottom there which is a bit unfortunate but it was a difficult lie because the ball was sat right on top of this really thick stuff all right there might be some people there that think I got a bit lucky you'll be right I did it's obviously rolled down here I might have been able to see it on the b-roll footage from the other camera we'll see in the edit afterwards Oh, I don't know why I'm trying to mark that, it's off the green, good job I didn't pick it up. Uh, trying to do too many things at once there. Right, a bit of a tuft in front of us there, so not quite sure how that's going to come across that, but I'm not going to chip it from here. Um, we're going to try and just roll it close and get out of here with a bogey at worst. It is a shot hole after all. Oh, raced that one by a little bit, didn't I? Giving myself a lot of work there for a bogey. Just come out hot off that uh, collar. I thought it might uh, catch a little bit because of that longer grass that we had there in front of it, but never mind. Let's see if we can tidy this up for the bogey. Yep, in for a bogey on a shot hole, so a net par. We can't be too mad at that. Par three, we're one over par right now, having just made bogey on that one, uh, which I'm not too disappointed by. Uh, this is 153 yards to the middle from the yellow tee boxes. Stroke index 15, so no stroke here. Uh, a difficult one because that pin is down on the left-hand side of the green, and you've got to fly the bunker. The sensible shot here is to aim out right and hope that you can draw it back into the pin however we've got a left to right wind as well just to make things more interesting um, hopefully you're going to get some nice footage here from the 360 degree camera as well and uh, let's see if we can stick it on the green We've aimed out right and that should come back into the left hand side if it's short enough. If not, we'll be in the grass bunkers on the right hand side. You'll see soon enough though. So before I set this camera down on the green, that's the lie because you won't be able to see it from the other camera. Okay, so as I've already mentioned, it's not the greatest of lies. Um, bit of a fluffy one, but it's sat down as well. Um, on the green somewhere would be nice here. Uh, can't really get too cute with it. Left to right slope because I know that's going to be flattened out on the camera, you won't be able to see it. So obviously the lie is going to bring the ball left. We've got a slope going in the opposite direction. Um, I'm going to just try pitching it towards the other camera on the other side of the green directionally. And yeah, we'll just see what happens. I'm gonna to have to sort of de-loft this to try to get it to pop. And that is probably the best I can do there. And I know it's run out all the way to the other side of the green, but it's given us a chance at, a put, at par. All right, PGA Tour make percentage from here is well under 50%. So you can never be too hard on yourself with these type of puts. You just want to try and get them in the vicinity and give yourself a chance at bogey and just seeing if you can get it to drop really. Speed's the key. And given that a bit of a wrap, trying to take the break out. And we've now given ourselves a trickier one for the bogey across the hole. 
shouldn't really give up the hull from this sort of distance. There we go, in for the bogey. It's a shot lost to the course, but I'm sure we might be able to gain it at some point. All right, okay, so hole four, 313 yards from here. As you can see, it's all uphill. Slopes right to left. Uh, see if we can just poke one out there. And try, maybe, if we can get up there close, to recover that shot we've just lost. But we're not gonna go chasing that, because that is a recipe for disaster. We're a nice tee shot here. It gives us the opportunity to get up close and pitch one on. And maybe it gives us an opportunity to grab it back, but like I say, we're not gonna chase that. Cutting a little. But it's going to be a long way up there. I'd imagine we're probably looking at it got about 80 yards to the pin, but we'll see when we get there. All right, okay, wasn't a bad guess, was it? I've got bang on 100 yards, but we do have to factor in a few things here. We've got slope wind to deal with, uh, so we have to err on the side of right hand side of this green because that flag is on the left hand side. So conservative target, but obviously trying to be accurate towards that conserv more conservative target. So pick a line, pick something just in front of the ball to aim towards. Know the fact that the ball is going to come left because of the slope and the wind and just use those variables to account for it. So. And there we go, that should be safely aboard. And it has actually drew towards the pin, primarily I think because of the slope, but also the wind was pushing it in there a little bit as well. Okay, so we couldn't ask for more there, giving ourselves a really good chance for birdie because we took that conservative uh, option off the tee. But obviously we're not going to get ourselves too emotional over this putt and hope just you know think that it's definitely going in it's in make range obviously um and we'd love it to go in but we'd also know that it, there's a potential that we will miss and you have to accept that before you stand over the putt so let's just dive a little bit left unlucky but we're in for a part, never a bad thing. Right, okay, so hole five is called Gateway. It is stroke index nine, so we get a shot here. It is 168 to the middle, according to the card. I've got 164 on the watch. It is uphill, a little breezy off the right, a front flag. Uh, I'm gonna hit a seven iron. airing on the right hand side nice line not quite enough I reckon we're probably at least 20 yards short there. Didn't really compress it enough. There's a lot of wind up there as well. All right, I was about 20 short like I thought. Um, could elect to go low here with a chip and run, but I really want to carry it just short of the green. Again, a 
pace right on the chip and run into that brass it's going to be difficult well, let's see if Dr Chipinski is in session ah, just a bit past carried that way too far Yes, that is a good bar. <laughs> that was a tricky part. Par four, monstrous slope right to left. This is stroke index one. It is four hundred and sorry, three three hundred and eighty five yards from the yellow tees, um, but obviously the slope makes it much more intimidating than that. I think line-wise, crow in the distance, and slope's gonna bring the ball back. And uh, yeah, let's just poke one out there and see what we've got left with our second shot. Crow's decided to leave, so he ain't got his line anymore, but there is a little tuft up on the hill that I'm looking at. Well, it's gone where the crow's moved to. I reckon we've probably got about 118 from there. Okay, well, I'm gauging the distances well today in terms of what we've got left in. Uh, we've got 185 to the front and 204 to the middle, but obviously also slightly uphill. Clearly that drive hasn't gone as far as I'd like it to have gone, uh, but sacrifice the yardage for the placement because oftentimes when you're down on that left-hand side, it makes getting into this green a little bit more tricky. So clearly slopes going left, uh, winds going left, we're going to have to play up this up quite a way uh, towards the bunker on the right hand side and uh, hopefully it'll then drift back down towards the flag. I'm hitting a seven wood so I'm hitting a middle of the green sort of distance club but I think it'll come up a little bit shorter than that just purely down to the fact of the slope so we do need to try and hold it out right hand side though. So we need to pick a decent line. pulled that massively. That could be in trouble. Right, okay. Well, good job we did try and miss it right because we've thoroughly uh, cocked this one up, but we got a chance here. It stayed in bounds, luckily enough. It's got a terrible, terrible lie. We've got no green to work with on the other side. The camera's up there. Hopefully it can see what's going to be coming its way. We've got the wind into us, really not too much in our favour here. And we've got air on the side of caution as well because of how much room we've got to land it on the other side. So, best of a bad situation here. Let's just try and hit a nice shot and see what happens. We've probably got 20 yards of green to work with from one side to the other here, but let's see if we can hit a nice one come out dead and short of the green. Not ideal, and that is why we wanted to miss on the right hand side. All right, okay, another lie that sat down. Still got the same amount of green to work with, obviously, but we've improved things by being a bit closer. Um, gonna have to, because of this lie, I'm just gonna have to take what comes. Otherwise, I've got to get really super cute and have the face wide open, and I don't fancy that one from here. Not with the wind into us. So we're just going to give it a good old try. Oh. <laughs> well, green cam, I hope, has caught that, because that was a very, very good effort. Giving ourselves a chance at a bogey on stroke index one, having 
made the error we didn't want to make and sending it left. So we've reduced our errors along the way. We'll have to check the video back afterwards to see what my alignment was looking like on that seven wood because I've got a feeling I was aiming well left at where I thought I was. There we go, bogey. No, no drama really. Right, hole seven. 410 yards ish from the yellow box. Um, obviously sloping from right to left as usual. Start this out on the right hand side of that hill, right of the marker post. Because the wind's gonna bring it left and so is the slope. Right, maybe just hit this one a bit harder this time, considering we've sort of held back a little bit over the course of the last couple of holes. <laughs> Stayed out there, but the slope's gonna bring it left now towards the marker post. Perfect position, really. Right, okay. This could get uh, expensive if I do the impossible and take out the 360 camera, but hopefully this creates a very cool video shot. Uh, we've got 180 to the front, breeze off the right. I've got a nine wood in my hand, because I think that it might roll out if we get it up to the front. Right. Do everything that we said about on the last hole about letting it go right. Which we have right over the top of the camera. I mean, that should be a spectacular shot tracer if uh, I can get that to work. Right, okay, I thought that might have actually turned a little bit more than it did. I actually started it out further right than I needed to, but I'd rather be here than short-sided in there's some grass bunkers on the other side over there, which are very difficult to try and get it to stop on the green from out of there. So another little one of these chip and bump and runs. We just need to get this on the surface. It's quite downhill once it uh, reaches out to the green there. So nothing too bold, but obviously we also want to try and get it to the flag. just shot off the bank there six of one half a dozen of the other really probably needed to land that on the green to try and get it to stop but we've got a put for par all right left ourselves a lot of tidy up work here we'll take the flag out for this one because i'm sure you can see the bottom of the hole so i think this is going to go a little bit right to left, but nothing too major. Right edge, I think is where we're going to start this. Yeah. Pace put again. left it in the jaws. Another bogey on the card. On a difficult hole though, but we did play it pretty well. This is hole eight and it's off the yellows, it's 425 yards. It actually plays a par five off the whites, off the tips um, at 500 yards. And to be honest, I classify this hole as a four and a half off of either tee box because it plays relatively short as a par five but relatively long as a par four so let's just see if we can get a really nice drive away here today uh, marker post we need to be a little bit right of that if possible 
but I'll take right over the top of it. <laughs> Towie and left of the humps that is going to be quite a horrible lie but we'll see what we've got when we get down there right okay as they say sometimes it's better to be lucky than good because <laughs> that is a very good lie considering what we could have faced either side of here obviously wind off the left off the right pulling the ball left as usual and we've got to account for the slope that we're also standing on but we've got 216 to the middle the flag is at the back i'm going to hit seven wood try and trundle it trundle it on up there once again we need to consider the fact of how far left this might pull so i'll pick a safe target in the distance Yeah, ball's well above my feet here. So I'm actually going to feel like I'm hitting a cut, I think, to try to counter it. And he's pulled it left, but... Ah, grass bunker beside the green. Uh, obviously, we got pulled left, but... We've got up close to the green, that's the main objective from there. All right, here we go then. Snagged ourselves a really fruity lie again. Oh, I mean, that is sat right on. Mm. This is going to be interesting how that comes out because I have got no clue how that was going to react. All right, let's get it in somewhere around the flag, mate. Take what comes. I mean, I can't even get the club in behind it to take my stroke. Oh man, that's come out so well. I could hit that another 500 times and not get it any closer, I reckon. All right, after I said that this was a four and a half, I've actually given myself a good chance at a par here. I'm gonna say that is four and a half, five feet. Not a huge amount of break on it. There you go. It was a stolen from the course, especially given that light over there. That was horrendous. Right, last hole before we turn back home and have to deal with a different wing direction. So. This obviously again right to left, whereas the rest of the round we're going to be looking at a left to right wind. The challenges of uh, this type of course, but I think we've captured it relatively well so far this round. This one is 3 2 3 to a front flag. Just see if we can bomb one down there and then deal with what comes after that. Bit of a cutty one into the wind. Probably got about 120 to the flag, maybe a bit longer. It'll do. Right, okay. Not exactly a bombsman today, and that was definitely an old swing creeping in there off that tee box. Always happens when you're a bit um, tired in a round, I find, when you've been making swing changes. Suddenly when you start to get tired, you start to uh, have problems reverting back to an old swing. Anyway, we've got 105 to the front and 119 to the middle. It's a front, it's a front flag, which means it'll be just over that crest. I'm hitting a pitching wedge, so I'm hitting the middle number, hoping that uh, the slope will deal with the, uh, the difference in distance. Just a nice swing. A 
bit right to target. Bounce nice off that bank though and feed on down because the, the green comes from right to left. Um, bit of tricky put though. We'll see what we got when we get up there. All right, okay, so I think one of the most important things there is is that we selected the right club and we've got it towards uh, pin high rather than leaving it short, needing to chip in and then bringing in a bogey. Uh, we've got ourselves here a chance at birdie and then what we should have is a fairly easy par. Not going to move too much, I wouldn't have thought, this one. Although I am going to start it maybe just outside the left edge. Got to get it there. But, like I said, we've left ourselves with a very easy par putt. Quick mic malfunction here on 10 means that this is post recorded uh, for the commentary here. 299 yards this one, so some of the bigger hitters would be able to get on the green here. But we obviously aren't in that bracket and certainly not on this day and on this occasion. But let's try and work our way down the middle of the fairway. Right then, uh, 66 to the middle, sorry, 64 to the middle. Um, flags on the left-hand side should really go more central with it, but the wind's going to push it as well. So obviously we don't want to pull it left, but we have to try to get a little bit closer to this one from this sort of distance in reality. Though I will air on the right-hand side of it. said on the right hand side didn't I? I actually put it on the left hand side <laughs> and it's short but we're on the green we've got a putt and that's all you can ask for. So the best you can really say about that is that because I aimed right and pulled it left I didn't actually pull it as far left as maybe I would have done had I been closer to the aim on the flag but we've given ourselves a birdie opportunity a very long distance one, but it is semi makeable. We've also got the line of the flat, the uh, the shadow off the flag to help us out a little bit with alignment because I think it's a relatively straight putt. Let's see if we can roll the what rock. Just left it out there. It never really broke, but it's another par. Right, hole 11, par 5, first of a back to back grouping. Just bombs away, really. Just try and get it on down the, the centre there. That's a low bullet driller. A well over the top shot, which is because I'm getting tired. But we'll take it. And uh, I know we won't be able to get there in two, but we should be able to get there in regulation. Right, okay, it actually did all right for itself, this one. Still obviously got too far to, to get into the green here, over 250 yards. Um, still the stake 
want to be a little bit right of that and hold it on out there because everything slopes from right to left. Um, I've got a seven wood. Let's uh, just poke one down there, give ourselves a look at getting on in regulation. Well, that's a low bullet again. Definitely tired. But we should uh, we should have a look at the green. Right, you won't believe me, I've already hit this shot. <laughs> uh, and I wasn't recording, so here we go again. Right, we've got 123 to the middle, and that's the number I'm playing because I'm not flirting with that flag on that left-hand side. Uh, near that uh, bit of a hill so I'm aiming more centrally and if it comes back with a bit of draw then fair enough but we are aiming more down the centre of this green the sun's got me I think that's just hit the first ball. I'm pretty sure that just hit the first ball that I hadn't recorded. <laughs> so exactly the same shot. <laughs> so you didn't really miss anything. We've still got a chance at a birdie here if we hit a nice putt. Of which that was not. That jumped because I think I hit it above the equator of the ball. But we get it nonetheless. Another part, another good hole, strategy wise at least. I'm not sure whether we should just accept the fact today that I'm not exactly long off the tee because I haven't got any pop. Because I speed trained this morning and I've played a few times this week already. And just accept the fact that I'm going to hit squeezy cuts or whether we try and force one last big hurrah. See where it goes. Ideal line is over the marker post with a bit of draw. Let's see if we can pull that off. Well, no draw, and that's going right. Just leaving the face open. Just leaving the face open, but it'll be all right out there. Just a long way in. We've managed to find it out here right, as I said it would be. And uh, we're in the seventh fairway, going obviously in the wrong direction, but that's the advantage of having sort of shared use fairways, I guess. You can miss out here and it's not too much of a problem miss it out left and you're in dire straight so it's the place to miss if you're going to miss uh, we've got a long way in i've got a seven wood in my hand we're just going to try and nuke one down there and see what we've got left come the end of it That's probably one of my better swings of this back nine. It's left a target, but it's going to run a long way because it's downhill on that side. Absolutely smoked that one. Didn't even think that that was remotely possible to get near that green, but obviously, as you can see, or might be able to see, it might not flatten out very well because of the picture, but it's very downhill from where I was hitting. So we have managed to get it quite a long ways down here. Let's see if we can chip this onto the green, get on for regulation and maybe, just maybe, get ourselves our first birdie of the day 
Uh, that's a blue flag, so it's at the back. But I'd imagine that this is going to tumble out of this slide. So we've got to be careful about what we do here. Also I've got this just in front of us that could get caught. Depends on how it comes out of here, but let's get it on the green. And try and nestle it up close if we can, but no dramas if not. Let's just try and have another regulation hole. Go left. I mean, it's great for distance. Great for distance, just to start it, it's a bit too far right, that's all. Yeah, I've got a put for, for birdie though. was going right, misread. But it's an easy tapping par on index three. Again, can't complain, especially given that tee shot. <laughs> right, probably completely unnecessary, but I'm hitting a stinger here. Two iron. 302 yard hole, par th uh, four obviously. Um, Split fairway, so my drives, because I'm hitting the ball right today, would probably end up way down on the right hand side and give us a really tricky approach shot to this green. So all I'm going to try and do is keep this in the left hand fairway and then just give us a punch shot down into the green. Um, hopefully we get this out there about 200 yards. a bit toey and slightly left but it's achieved what we were trying to do it's kept us in play and at this point in the round we've been moving a bit slower it's probably not a bad thing right we did everything we said we were going to do there uh, about 200 yards I'd say with that two iron we got 109 yards to the middle it's a back flag but it's tucked right in the far right corner so another one that's tricky to access, uh, it's tr tricky to get to. You've got bunkers right and grass bunkers left short. So it's a hit the green job and then deal with what you've got left over with a put afterwards. Let's see if we can play a nice one into the green. Well, it's right at it. And because of the sun, I cannot see it. I don't know where that is on the green, but it was right at it. So hopefully it's pitched up short of it and rolled out to it. We'll see when we get there. Right, okay. Actually, I overdid that pitch shot. I think I probably had too much club. And we've... Uh, Come through the back here and given ourselves the most short-sided shot you could imagine. The steps are actually in line with where we want to go. We've either got to be really cute with this or we've got to try and take a big number out of the play. What's it going to come out like is the question. Well, here goes nothing lads. Oh my god, I couldn't play that any better. Just a bit uh, longer target, but given where we were, got to take that. Giving ourselves a lot of work to do for our par though, considering what we did off the tee box. Um, but it was the right play. Okay, uphill put. I think this is sneaky going to go right to left. 
early and maybe flatten out at the hole. There's definitely more in it at the start. It's just how much it's going to roll out and then flatten out. We'll start this out maybe a cup outside right. See if we can get this to drop, it would be really nice if we could. Oh, I just went left early. I did say it would break more at the start. Given that chip shot we just had to make though, I think we'll take it. Right, okay, first par three in a long time. Uh, this is the drop. A uh, very picturesque hole here at Freshwater Bay and a challenging one as well. Uh, relatively small green considering the elevation drop that we're, we're dealing with. You'll be able to see it from both the uh, top cameras up here. But let's see what we can do on the, a challenging hole with the wind is coming across us from left to right and the pin is back left. Quite inaccessible, I would imagine. We just want to hit the green here. That's the aim of the game. Get it on the green and deal with the putt afterwards. That's at the middle of the green, but it's cutting because of the wind. I haven't seen it down, but it must be right portion of the green. We'll see when we get down there. All right, okay, obviously just a bit too much club there. Managed to fly it through the back of the green. Um, just to chip on, see if we can get it close. We're obviously gonna get no spin out of here. Go in. Oh. How close? All right, let's move on. Technical difficulties finally caught up to us on hole 14, as you've already seen with the Insta 360 camera uh, that normally does the shot tracers running out of battery. And I hadn't realized at that point that it had done so. See a little bag on the left hand side there with all of my ba spare batteries, etc., in because I've just changed batteries in this actual camera that we're looking through now. And I'm hitting a second shot into this green because it missed the original shot. And I wanted you to see how uh, the shot plays out from this particular tee box, but you'll see in a minute where both balls ended up. Right, okay, so there you can see the green ball that we hit second, just to prove what this hole was like, but the original ball has worked its way to the back of the green, to the right, over there down a bit um, flag obviously over to the left hand side it come down this hill over here and it's just worked its way to the far side of the green so just have to take that and uh, take that chip and the other thing is is that the mic the, the DJI mic also decided that it wasn't going to record uh, for this hole and some of the next so this is in post uh, obviously that chip I didn't make the, the distance and then a lip out as well you can see my frustration uh, from that another edge burns and the ball lipping out around the corner of the hole as we card a bogey on hole 15. moving into hole 16 and as you can see the sun now is beginning to set and giving us a really nice orange glow to the footage but two iron here off this tee box it's 263 yards this hole and it's a nice little buttercup down the 
right hand side fairway there's a false fairway up on that left hand side and it actually catapulted off the bank i don't know how far of it that two iron but it's a long old bloody way um feels like a bit of a cheat guard that actually i think i'll be hitting two iron more often from up here from up that uh off that tee box um 30 yards to the front of the green bit of a strange lie get it on the green Get it on the green. And we've left it short. Well, that two iron feels like a bit of a waste after that chip, but it won't if this goes in. Should have done better there. That didn't realise how much we've got to work with. Should have walked up here. Right. It'll be interesting to see how it goes through this collar. It went through too well. And now we've given ourselves a monstrous par putt. Interesting way to play this hole. Did the right thing off the tee box, leave it short, and then nuke the first putt. All will be redeemed if this goes in though. And I've nuked that one as well, <laughs> just for good measure. I wanted that one too much, obviously. There we go, a five. On a hole where we had a very good opportunity to score, but we didn't take it and it's not really too much damage. Par three. 140 yards but playing a long way uphill i've got a seven iron it's starting to feel pretty tired now to be honest um late in the day played a lot of golf this week speed trained but let's see if we can close out with a couple of nice holes Front right, I believe. Pin eye, you know what that's a sign of, or at least that's what Peter Finch says. I'm going to elect to put this, I think, just how it comes through this collar. Yeah, decent enough weight, just went left straight away. I think it was actually a push, a pull, sorry. Let's see if we can tidy it up for a part. Ooh, just about used all the hole there but scorecard doesn't know that only we do as the sun begins to set we have one last drive down 18 straight away you can see the pit in the distance bunker right of the green Let's have one really good last drive, shall we? To close things out. Pipe one down the middle. That is my old pin. That is my old pin. 
it did cut, so we'll be in play. But it wasn't my best work. Yeah, as I said on the tee box, not really my best work, to be perfectly honest. That was an old swing coming out for another dabble for some reason. Um, downhill, obviously. So we've got 181 to the front. I'm going to hit a nine wood and just try to get it to run out once it gets to the front of the green. Check that out for a head cover as well. Yeah. Right. One last good, decent swing required. Mm, stance is a bit... Allow me. Well, I can't hit that any better. It needs a right kick. Yeah, I think it might be pin high, but left of the green. We'll see when we get down there. Right, wouldn't you know, I've hit it long through the back of the green. And we're obviously going to have a tricky one out of this stuff. Just flop it on there and deal with what happens. Well, I can't land it any shorter than that. How has that not gone in? How has that not gone in? <laughs> What a way to close it out, though. Dr. Chipinski wasn't quite in surgery, but we don't need the putter for that. One last par on the card. What around thanks for watching if you've enjoyed it go ahead and wallop that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and let's just have a quick look over how this round played out so we went through the front nine in four over we came back in three over so seven over total and as i've already mentioned currently playing off 8.6 from the yellow tees i do believe that that would be a playing handicap of eight so we're technically one under par for the day. Never to be sniffed at, especially when the camera's on you. And you clearly saw how many opportunities we had at maybe having birdies and things that just leaked out. And indeed that last one that could quite have easily dropped. Once again, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. It was a massive edit job because of the amount of cameras we've got going on and all this new equipment that I'm trying to get the best use of. Obviously there were some minor bugs in the system but overall i think we created a really good video from it let me know in the comment section down below though how you might improve things going forward and, that, and let me know if you want to see some of the other courses here on the isle of wight we'll go off and get them recorded